What's up, Wolfman fans? It's uh, another uh, Saturday. It was a beautiful day today. Um, hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you're having a great weekend. Um, today's video, you notice I'm not sitting in front of my normal um, setup, and that's just because I really didn't feel like setting it all up or anything. Uh, I'm not feeling too super hot. I've kind of had like headaches all day. My stomach has been uh, kind of upset and I don't know I don't know what's up I mean, you know I'll get through it but you know what it, it is what it is anyway uh, today's topic is a touchy one uh, it's one son one that a lot of people don't uh, a lot of people cover but I don't I don't feel like a lot of people actually want to discuss when people want to talk about um, not with any real truth it's 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 a sensitive topic it's a the topic is abortion now I've never really stated that I was like pro-choice, pro-life. I really didn't want to ever put myself in one of those categories. But, I mean, my th my my uh, position has always been, you know, you do you. You live your life your way. And uh, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Just as I, I would expect you would pay me that same courtesy and don't tell me how to live my life. The problem is, is it's become a huge deal nowadays. Uh, a lot of you know, several states out there are now starting to pass legislation um, illegalizing abortion. Um, Georgia doing the heartbeat with the heartbeat bill. Uh, you know, if after a heartbeat is detected, that's a no go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna step into this and kind of give my thoughts. And as always, guys, if your thoughts differ from mine, you can always feel free to drop them in the comments. Uh, you guys can discuss. We'll talk about it. You know, I, I, I appreciate open discussion. Always do. But I'll start things off. Um, personally, look. If you don't want kids, and if you don't want to have, uh, deal with the whole pregnancy thing, there's a, a ton of different methods out there uh, of contraception. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can do. The number one uh, most 100% effective method is just don't have sex. You know, and that, that was something, you know, I remember it being pushed that maybe that our ideas on sex, you know, premarital sex and stuff is a bit archaic and it's old and... You know, we can we can progress past that. Well, part of that was also the idea of, you know, not having kids before you were ready to have kids. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, when it, it's the idea of people who don't really think of the full uh, aspect of everything. They don't think of the, all the uh, all the different little nuances that go along with whatever decision they're making. They see one path, like as far as, you know, sex and stuff, premarital sex. They're talking about, you know, well, I, I should be able to go out and have sex if I want to. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. Do what you will. But there are consequences. There are risks involved. Just like any, any decision you make in your life, there are risks. There are consequences. And you have to be willing to take responsibility for your actions. In this case, possibly a child. And look, I've had friends that have had abor abortions. And in their case, it was a situation of um, these particular individuals. It was a state, it was uh, a, a situation of a severe problem with the baby. Um, and it's not like this baby wouldn't be able to survive. Yeah, it would survive, but it would be a miserable life. And it would be an incredible burden on the family uh, to try to... There's a lot of money they'd have to pay, a lot of things they'd have to do um, to take care of this child with this, this defect. Uh, and, you know, if you gave it up for adoption, same kind of deal. And they decided to go ahead and abort the, the pregnancy. And again, it's a touchy subject, guys. 
but it's not one that I can call make a call on because that's not my life. That's them. And that discussion was between the mother and the father, a doctor, and there there was a lot of discussion and a lot of, it was very it, I'm sure it was an emotional issue. Um, it's not a decision that can that should be made lightly. And honestly, one thing I've always wondered though, when it comes to because in in those situations, I get it. All right. Um, and I've heard people make the arguments of like rape and incest. What about that? Well, besides the fact that that accounts for like the absolute smallest uh, minority of incidents, you know, of abortion. That's besides that. That's another thing that's it's going to require a lot of uh, a lot of discussion. It's an emotional issue. And there's a lot that goes into that. Uh, it should be discussions between, you know, the 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 woman uh, who who was raped or you know whatever. Um, either scenario, uh, a doctor, maybe a therapist should be involved, uh, something like that, and do everything they can. It, 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 um, talk about every possible angle, and then make the right decision. Make your right decision, your right decision. Not everybody else's, yours. Make the decision that's gonna best serve you, your life, whatever that means. But you, you see what I'm saying? It's not a process that you just be taken lightly. You shouldn't just, you know, oh man, I'm pregnant. I guess I'll go get an abortion. Look, on that note, if that's, as, with that particular way of thinking, excuse me, this is something that I, a discussion that I need. I, I, I'm smoking. It's, I'm kind of riled up. I'm out of scotch, so I'm not drinking. But anyway, if that's your thought process, that is, that, you know, it's an available service, so you, you just, you know, that's your backup to the backup or whatever. How did you get to that point? There's, 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 there's condoms. There's uh, birth control pills. There's uh, all kinds of things, guys. I, I mean, you, you, you guys know the same methods of contraception as I do. And let you even have a morning after pill. There's all kinds of things. And if you tell me, oh, hey, that's not 100% effective, you, you know what? You're right. This is not 100% effective. This is not the 100% be-all, end-all you know, of this argument. No. Abstinence is. That's 100% effective every time. So, why would you go the route of abortion? That's an invasive surgery. It, it's not, and then from what I've, what I've understood, I've obviously never had an abortion, I wouldn't know, but um, I've heard it's, it can be emotional too, you know? And it's, I would assume it's expensive. I wouldn't assume that it's a, a cheap operation, you know? And honestly, there's, there's, there's talk with the whole, you know, up to nine months, up to the point of birth. Well, hold up a second. At what point in nine months did you decide that you didn't want the baby? Or were you just too lazy to do something about it in the very beginning? There, there's a lot of questions about this, guys. But I will tell you personally that I think that if, if let it happen. Capitalism is a wonderful thing. And if there's people out of there that want to do this as a medical service to women, whatever. Make the money. I don't I may not personally agree with the with that method, but it's not necessarily Illegal. There are a lot of moral arguments about it, and there's always going to be. That's just one of those things that there's always going to be a moral argument about it. It's kind of like, um, you know, drilling, putting in pipelines through Native American land. There's a moral argument behind it. Should we do it? You know, yeah, we need the oil pipeline. We do, or the natural gas pipeline, or whatever. We need it, but this is their land. And then you raise the question, well, what were they doing with the land beforehand? We make them a generous offer to make, let us do this. It, there's a lot of questions. And this is no different. There's a lot of questions. But again, these are questions that don't involve the general public, in my particular opinion. 
Now, this is not to say that I am for abortion at all. Personally, as a as a as a uh, married man who uh, me and my wife have have been trying to have kids, and so far have been unsuccessful. It upsets me when somebody can, you know, get pregnant just like that, and turn around and just, you know, abort the baby. They didn't want it. They weren't ready to be parents. Whatever excuse they give. So yeah, that's upsetting to me. But again, it's not my life. I'll put it this way: I don't want. They can do. People can do what they want. But don't put it on me. If you want to, if you want abortions, you want it. Fine. Pay for it. That's your business. Out of your pocket. And no, insurance should not cover that. Insurance should not pay uh, pay for your own bad decisions. Insurance typically doesn't pay for bad decisions. Look at car insurance. Car insurance is some of the most cut and dry of all insurance policies. With car insurance, if you're found that you were doing something stupid and that you were in the wrong, you don't get the coverage. You're not, you're not getting the coverage from that accident. You're not going to get it because you were in the wrong. Even if you did everything right, but like, let's say you weren't wearing a seatbelt something like that you could get to you may not be covered that happens it should work the same way yeah you have medical coverage but not for un having unprotected sex that's not that's not anybody's fault but your own yeah oh but it was on un it's unexpected no it's not male plus female equals child that's just how that works. This is basics. The fact that we've gone so po go, gone so far in this world as to completely, and I don't think we've forgotten. I just think at this point we ignore the basic science stuff. You know, stuff that we learned as children. Biology, basic human biology and health and all that stuff. We ignore it at this point. Because it's not what we want to think. It's not. It doesn't fit the narrative that we want to push along. And uh, abortion has gone that same way. This argument has hap has gone along those same lines, and that's upsetting. But again, you want to you want to do that. Hey, you do you. You're gonna the one that's gonna have to deal with the consequences, okay? And you're gonna be the one that's gonna pay for it. It's not gonna come out of my tax dollars. That that uh, it shouldn't work that way. And honestly, government needs to just drop the argument altogether and get out of it. Of all the things that we have to worry about in this world, the last thing our Congress should be focusing on is, go is, is freaking abortions. It's not something they need to be focused on. Not something they need to be worried about. Um, hell, they're still worried about the whole Trump investigation. And he may have lied at one point, so what else is he lying about? Well, look, all right, the minute he became president, he became a politician. I don't trust politicians, not a single one of them. Dan Crenshaw is probably the guy on the top of my list of people of the most trust I give to a politician, and that's because of his background as a Navy SEAL and everything, and I, I kind of have a trust for that, but hey, he's still a politician, so I'm still wary. Trump is the same way. He's a politician. I'm still wary. And I don't, I don't, there's been a lot of dishonest elections. In fact, most um, elections have an air of dishonesty to them in one way or another. But it, it, it's the fact of what they say versus, versus what they actually do. And if he does good things, let's help him do good things. And we can all just go, you know, ignore him when he gets on Twitter and goes on, you know, crazy tirades. I think that that's something we can do. And the more we sit there talking uh, with, uh, have, you know, femi female congressmen talking about a woman's right to choose, you know, her own health care, uh, of course women have choose to choose, uh, the, uh, they have the right to choose on, you know, the best method for them to take care of themselves and health care and all that. 
my body, my choice is not an argument. Because this isn't plastic surgery. I know I'm jumping around here, but try to follow. This isn't plastic surgery. You're dealing with a child. That, that brings a whole other life into it. It's kind of like murder. If a woman, a pregnant woman is murdered, let's say that murder gets caught and he's taken to court and everything, he gets charged on two counts of murder for the life of the woman and the child. But somehow, abortion is still, well, it's my body. It's my choice. Screw the baby. Has nothing to do with the baby, right? No, not in my, not in my eyes. But again, look. Do what you want. At the, at the end of the day, your destructive nature is on you. And you're the one that is going to have to answer for it. I, I, it, it's, it's, it's terrible to me and it's reprehensible in my eyes, but land of the free guys, we have to take the good with the bad. And that's just the way it is. Um, again, you guys want to have, and this is wrapping this up guys. If you want to have unprotected sex, get pregnant, and then him haw around about it for, you know, up to up to three months, and then decide you want to find an abortionist who's willing, uh, uh, to, a doctor who's willing to perform an abortion, at nine months. Well, currently there are places where that is legal. I mean, there's like what three states right now that that may not be legal, but there's, it leaves you quite a few, quite a few more options. Yeah, you may have to spend some more in gas money, but hey, that's your choice. You know, I, I'm sorry. I feel sorry for your child. I do. Um, but it is what it is. You do what you want. Um, I, I think we have bigger fish to fry, honestly, in this country. I think we have bigger problems to worry about other than what some selfish woman wants to do, you know, with her, you know, reproductive uh, organs or whatever, you know, that's whatever. Honestly, that's one thing, uh, speaking of selfish, this video is going on 20 minutes, guys, uh, so I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick. Uh, all this, guys, all the abortion stuff, all the arguments that you hear, and I don't know if you guys have ever thought this before, but it's certainly something that I know. Um, it's all selfishness. This is not an age anymore where we think about uh, what we can do for others. It's not an age where we think about um, we, where we put others before ourselves. No, this, this has become an age of what's in it for me. I'll do this for you, but what's in it for me? And the end result is people run around as, just wanting more for themselves. That's the whole ultra goal of feminism. I want more for me. Same thing with the racism thing. I want more for me. Rep the reparations, and that kind of goes along with the racism thing. I want more for me. Okay. I mean, what are you, how do you argue again? What are you going to argue against that? It's, it's a, it's a never-ending argument, and it won't end. It'll never end, guys. So that's, that's just really... That's the crux of the whole thing. Um, it is disgusting. It, it, it upsets me. It disgusts me. Uh, but, again, at the end of the day, what are you going to do about it? we got bigger fish to fry. we got more important worries in this country, more important, important concerns. So uh, let's stop focusing on stupid shit. Uh, and when you got 2020 elections coming up and they're running on a political pla on a platform of uh, ending uh, anti-abortion laws and, you know, closing the wage gap and giving reparations, that is the person you don't want to vote for. Because that's the person who's out there for not to help out the country as a whole and make it a better place. That's the person who's out there prom giving you empty promises just so you will vote for them. They're promising to give you stuff, free stuff, just so you'll vote for them. That's all that is. 
So anyway, guys, uh, that's all I got for tonight. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and, you know, I'm sorry I kind of ran a little long. It's not my normal background. Um, it is going to be getting better soon. I'm going to be uh, getting some new software so I can do some editing. Uh, I've got a dedicated camera now. Uh, I just haven't got any of that set up. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm kind of creating a uh, studio in my house so I can do this in there. Um, but everything, it's going to be getting better and better. So you guys uh, just hang in there. Keep watching. Um, hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet. Feel free to subscribe. Become a part of the uh, the the wolf clan, I guess. The wolf pack. <laughs> I don't want to say wolf pack because kind of, uh, what was that movie? Hung o the Hangover kind of killed that for me. It's, it doesn't sound as cool anymore. But anyway, um, <clears throat> you guys feel free to join up. Uh, hit, hit the subscribe button. And uh, as always, guys, stay awesome. Keep staying awesome. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a blast. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, you guys take it easy. Later.